Hello YouTube, what is up? Connor Brooks here with another video for you. Today we are going to be doing sort of a how-to-ish video. Um, I have um, on my RFMP number two with installed uh, TCS Wow Diesel Sound. I have a front horn, so like a front facing horn, and then a reverse horn. And I have them set up to where long, long horn forward is two, short forward is F3, and then um, four and five control the reverse horn. And so I'm going to go over first my two horns, and then I'm going to do sort of a how-to, just in case you have a uh, wild diesel and you don't exactly know how to do that. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the video. So here is my RF&P number two, an Atherin EMD SW1500 with installed DCC and TCS Wow Diesel Sound by Scale Sound Systems. Um, I have a review on that. That is the video right before this one. Um, if you want to watch that review, go ahead and check that out. But as you can see, uh, well, maybe if my head wasn't in the way, um, I have two different horns. I have a, a Leslie RS3L, and I have this one chime uh, horn that actually came with the locomotive which I describe on the review, but it was sitting on the mount that is right there um, by the cab windows, and I decided to move it since all three chimes are facing forward here. I needed a reverse horn. So, like I said, the front-facing horn is done with F2, so... Now... F2 is specifically set to where you hold it, and that's how long the horn goes for. Now, I don't know how to change that with F4, but it does not work the way you have to push it and then turn it off by pushing it again, but it doesn't really bother me that much. But here's the reverse horn. So anyway, there you have that. So, if you want to do this, luckily, TCS makes this very easy. I have no idea how to do that on any of my other locomotives, which is why I have the front and rear horns the exact same. So, as you can see here, I have that horn, and I have that horn, which is the same. And then I, you can't really see it because it's blue on blue, but I added a new horn to the front there. And, of course, I have the the black added horn there, which you can't tell because it's dark on dark, but it's there. So anyway, the first thing you have to do is go into Audio Assist, and by doing that you push F8 four times. Night mode. Welcome to Audio Assist. Use button 1 to hear the sound programming options. Use button 2 to hear the lighting programming options. So Use button 3 to hear the motor control Obviously we are going to be options. doing sound. Use so you push F1 to hear use button 1 to adjust sound volumes. Use button 2 to map a sound And that's exactly button. what we're doing. Use button so 3 use buttons 3 and 4 to select the type of sound you want. Use buttons 5 and 6 to select a specific sound. Then use buttons 1 and 2 to select what function button you want to assign the sound to. To remove the sound from the selected function, use button 7. Use button 8 to save changes. Use button 9 to return to the previous menu. Use button 0 to exit audio assist. Now, I know that was a lot, but I'll just I'll show it here. So, 5 and 6 is the sounds. Just kidding. It's not what I wanted. Three and four. Three and four is going through the sound. So we're gonna specifically go to the horn. So air compressor, air spitter, bell, brake relief, brakes, coupler clank, crew alert, direction change, dynamic brake, exhaust fan, forward sound, horn long. So horn long. So now you can cycle through the horns. So let's say I'm going to be picking the reverse. Let's just let's change the front horn. So use button. So you go through the horns you want. Now 
Let's say I like that one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to push F1 and 2. Zero reverse. One. Two. We're going to save it. Saved. We're going to exit. Bye. So now... Now obviously I didn't change the short horn. And I probably... Not gonna be able to find that, but let's try it again. Light mode at sound mode active. Light mode active. Sound they don't make it easy with this one. Welcome. There we go. Use button. Use button one. Use buttons three. Forward sound. Horn. Horn. Quill. Horn. Short. Now I had to get rid of the horn quill for this, but. Maybe that was it? I don't know. Three. Saved. Bye. It was not. Well, that's okay. Anyway, so you see how you do that. You can pick the horn and then you can set it to anything you want. So, see, like I have this horn, this horn, this horn, this horn, and I have the air whistle set to F6. So, Anyway, I hope that helped you, um, you know, if you want to have a forward and reverse horn or, um, see, I have, like, the brake set for F9 instead of the horn change, so you can easily just go to that mapping sound and just change the sounds that way. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for choosing my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.